Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, I still had some February unboxings to do, so I believe this is my final one. This is the Beacon book box for February, which means you guys will most likely be seeing the next one very soon. Let's just jump into it. I am pretty excited. I have already seen a couple spoilers for this. Not necessarily on purpose, but I am just so excited about what's in this box. So February's box is Fighting Fate. February Fighting Fate. I love the alliteration. So let's jump into this. We'll put the little card up there and let's see. We have some bubble wrap and this is what I've seen. The spoiler thing for Ah, uh, it's so pretty. This is one of their campfire mugs. Um, these are huge mugs. I don't know if I can really like show size comparison. I have a tiny noggin but this is Serpent and Dove inspired and it said our lives reflect our hearts by Shelby Meherin. And it's so cute and so pretty and I love this color. It's like a dark maroon color and it just looks like that. Oh, so excited. These are like the best size mugs. Like you can eat soup out of this mug. It's so beautiful. I love these mugs so much. So that's pretty much what I was really excited about. That's the only spoiler that I saw for this box. And I was like, it's perfect. I love it. I love Serpent and Dove. They also announced that they're doing a Blood and Honey box in case you guys wanted that. It's going to be an entire box working with Shelby Mahurin and all things Serpent and Dove, which was one of my favorite books last year. So I'm so excited. I'm going to leave all of their information and their website and whatnot down in the description for you guys so you guys can pre-order that if you would like. Let's get rid of this bubble wrap. Oh, that's dangerous. I don't know where Cricket is, but I'm sure she will appear momentarily for the bubble wrap. Next thing is what they are doing all year long. A lot of you guys informed me and they themselves informed me that they are doing, Oh, I love this. They are doing um, an entire collection of glass ornaments all year long. So this is going to fit right in with the collection. This is obviously Witcher inspired, which is so perfect. I did just binge through The Witcher last month, two months ago. When did I watch The Witcher? Last month, I want to say. And I love it so much. So this one is obviously Witcher inspired. We have the like sigils that you see, you know, at like the opening credits where they put them in and it's from the game and all of the things. Okay. The next thing is adorable. Oh, are these post-its? This is so cute. The next thing is this little teeny tiny book and it has post-its in it. And this is from The Cruel Prince. This is the least of what I can do is what the front says. And then it has some page tabs on the side and like little post-its on this side, which this is precious. I always get like little collection things like this of like page tabs and whatnot. And they're always in like a large booklet. I want something small like this that I can toss like in a book sleeve with my book and a pen and it's not gonna take up a lot of room. So this is ideal. This is precious. Look at the little tiny book. Okay. Next is, I'm guessing this is tea and it is Strange the Dreamer inspired. This is Laszlo the Dreamer. It's coffee. It is not tea. I am mistaken. Coffee by Caribrew, which I've gotten from them before. And this looks like it's falling kind of in the middle of the light to dark range. So it doesn't have any sort of description other than like what type of brew it is. So I'm guessing it's not any sort of flavor. I think it's just going to be a straight coffee, which I appreciate as an avid coffee drinker. Um, and there is a coupon code on the back for 15% off. It's box 15. I'll put it on the screen if you guys would like to partake in that. Next, we are down to the book sleeve, which contains the book. So obviously this was the February box. So this is a very fitting Valentine's Day fabric as well. And this one feels really nicely made. Like this one actually is well sewn, well crafted, if you will. And then the book, that was a fail. No, hold on. The book <gasps> is The Queen's Assassin by Melissa De La Cruz. Interesting. Also, I haven't actually seen this cover in person. I've seen everybody hauling it. I didn't know that this blood or wine or whatever you will is dripping out of the goblet. It's purple. It's like a really deep plum color. So let's see. We have, ooh, what is this? Ooh, we have like an author letter in here on like a swaggy thing. So that's new and exciting. And this book is indeed signed, which is super fun. Do I know anything about this? No, I don't. But like I said, I'm slowly getting back into fantasy, which is very exciting for me. So this is just going to go right on. Oh, hair. Hello. This is going to go right on the TBR shelf with all of the fantasy that I've been like 
steadily accumulating recently. Caldon? Caladon? Caladon Holt is the kingdom's deadliest weapon. Ooh, no one alive can best him in speed, strength, or brains, which is why he is the Hearthstone's guild's most dangerous member. So we're dealing with assassins, obviously. I mean, that's the the title of the book. Duh. All right, so introduce the female lead. Shadow of the Honeyglade has been training all her life to join the guild, and one day hopes that she'll be an assassin that will be as feared and revered as Cal. So I'm assuming something brings them together. It is their story. Fun, fun, fun. We'll put that up there. Along with the sleeve, the author ladder can go right there. Okay, we also have, it looks like a bookmark, but I think it's just like a printed out um, story about the Beacon family on how it was started by a 14 year old boy in 2017 because of the love and support of your shared passionate books. We're now celebrating our second year in business. Oh, that's fun. So this is like a second anniversary box for them. Um, we have a photo challenge as well. And then I'm guessing this is the recipe card, which has Cardin on the front looking all smoldery. This is for Elfheim uh, peanut butter bars. Ooh, that sounds great. And that also looks like a very simple recipe. Like there's only, I think, six ingredients and like three steps. So this will be a piece of cake to make if you guys would like to make some peanut butter bars inspired by our lovely Prince Carden. And that is the end of the box. That is all that is in there. And I feel like I managed to escape this unboxing without Cricket stealing something. Probably because she's off in the kitchen stealing something out there. So we'll find out what that is later on in the day. But that is everything that came in the February Beacon book box. Hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one.